everyone. This is Rear Admiral Craig Fowler, commander of the John C. Stennis Strike Group, calling in from the North Arabian Sea. I'm also expecting Commander Jen Ellinger, commanding officer of USS Kidd, to call in shortly. Uh, we're trying to work that right now, so when she comes in, I'd like her to introduce herself. But uh, thanks, everyone, for taking the time today. Basic situation yesterday, the uh, John C. Stennis uh, aircraft carrier, CBN-74, along with the USS Mobile Bay and the USNS Rainier, we were conducting uh, replenishment operations in North Arabian Sea. We were also conducting combat operations into Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. While doing uh, those two events simultaneously, we received a distress call aboard the carrier that we heard over bridge-to-bridge -bridge radio from the motor vessel Sunshine. We uh, quickly determined the motor vessel was uh, in our vicinity. We sent over a helicopter uh, and the observed a skiff making approach on that motor vessel. The master of the motor vessel Sunshine had, had said that there was a, he was being attacked by pirates. And when the helicopter arrived on station, they saw objects being thrown in the water and the six individuals in this small skiff, a picture of a small little fishing boat, uh, not, not more than about uh, 15 feet long. They threw over some objects in the water we suspected were uh, RPGs and, and rifles. The, uh, and then surrendered uh, with, at the sight of the helicopter. We, we sent the mobile bay over Mobile Bay conducted a boarding of this small skiff, uh, was unable to find any confirming evidence of uh, a piracy act, even though we suspected one. So we uh, followed, uh, we, we released the skiff and we followed it uh, from a distance by air to the mothership. We, because, it, you know, picture a small fishing boat operating 70 miles from sea, the story didn't make any sense. They told us they were out there for fun, but uh, 75 miles out in the uh, open ocean, we, we didn't think so. Followed it to uh, a large fishing dowel, Iranian flag dowel, with a helicopter overhead. And the, uh, we vectored in the USS Kidd, another ship that is operating with us out here in the area. Uh, the USS Kidd, uh, DDG-100, uh, came in and uh, contacted the master of the Dow, and that's when the master of the, the, the Iranian flag fishing Dow uh, told the kid, uh, the commanding officer of the kid by bridge to bridge, that they were under distress. And that's when we suspected that it was more than just uh, pirates. The kid sent over their boarding team, a visit board and search team, and uh, conducted a boarding, and, and it was everybody was compliant. But it was very obvious there was two groups, two nationalities on here. Uh, one, an innocent Iranian fisherman, 13 of them. Then uh, pirates, 15 of them. We don't know for sure their nationality. We suspect they're Somali. And uh, we separated the two. We conducted some interviews. And uh, that's all still a work in progress as we collect evidence on the pirates and uh, you know, wait their prosecution. So it was a great team effort. A combination of two ships, a helicopter, and the uh, team on board the aircraft here is John C. Stennis uh, to, uh, to make this all happen and save lives at sea.